Hello adventurers, on this episode I'm going to install a receiver hitch on our bumper, some stabilizers on the truck here, put new tires on the truck here, and new gauges on our propane tanks. Join us. I don't think I'm tough enough for you. I am back here at the rear bumper with a torque lift eco hitch. Hello, Piper. This is supposed to be pretty easy to install with minimal equipment. Uh, it has a 450 pound tongue weight. Uh, and it goes to an airstream trailer with a factory rear bumper storage, which is what this is. So all the parts were packed in pretty nicely. And I'm excited to check this thing out. I had to leave to go get a 9 16 inch drill bit because I didn't have one. So I have now determined that I can put my brackets under this deal here. So I'm going to get under here and mark and drill the drill holes. So I've drilled this hole here. Now i got to drill one more over here and do the same thing on the other side. Because this frame rail right here on the inside of this bumper is a rectangle or square deal, they give you this line that you can fish your nuts and bolts in there with. So what you do is you run this up through the hole and you fish it out here to the end. So between this part of the bumper, the, the metal bumper you can see and the frame rail, there's a gap in the side here. And then you take your stack of bolts screw it down onto the spring here and then you can pull this back to that hole which is very handy this is a pretty ingenious tool I now have both, I had to sweep up some of the shavings, but I now have both sides up underneath and I'm ready to put the big hitch on. The main issue that I'm running into at the moment is the bolts that you had to pull through a hole like this. How do you hold the top of them to get tight? Because you can't. It's inside of a box up there. I can get the one because there's a hole back here in the rear bumper, but I still can't get that much torque on it. So that's one problematic thing that I'm going to figure out. Blair, how do you like your new bumper hitch? It looks really good. What are you going to do with it? I guess we got to buy some bikes <laughs> or something. 
get a bus and bikes. Yeah. Now it looks pretty good. It was easy to install. A one man job. Cool. Good. Yeah. Anyone who's looking for a easy, relatively easy to install hitch on their Airstream, this might be an option for you. It's made by a company called Torque Lift Central. They do a myriad of uh, bumper parts and trailer trailer parts in general. So next time I'm going to be installing some leaf spring stabilizers on the F-350 from the same company. So in full disclosure, they sent me this to for me to install to do a review on. I did not purchase this item, but I did install it and uh, it took me about an hour to get the install done. Total total time and you know the longest part, the hardest part is drilling the holes up here in the, in the frame rails. That's the hardest part. So you need a 9 16 drill bit that will drill through metal. Uh, so that was the hardest part. But outside of that, torquing everything down, you could do it with wrenches. I have a little impact gun which made it much easier. But in general, uh, easy job and highly recommend it. So now we're going to find out what we're going to put on it and I'll be back to review that. Thanks everybody. All right, I'm back out here again with some parts to put on the truck. These things right here are called Quick Disconnect Lower Stable Load Stabilizers. So they go underneath your leaf springs on the front and the back on the bottom bottom leaf spring. And it just adds a little bit of stability when you have a load on your truck. Uh, these are just like the receiver hitch that we installed on the back of our Airstream. These are from Torque Lift Central. Uh, they sent me these products to test and evaluate them, so that's what I'm doing. I'm testing and evaluating the install process. The next time we travel somewhere, I will evaluate the stability of this towing our rig. I've seen these on Truck U. They're pretty quick and simple install. I've seen them on a couple other uh, videos or YouTube channels, so I'm going to install it, and I'll give you my feedback on how easy the install goes and uh, what it feels like on the backside. So let's go check this thing out. First thing you need to do is get your marking kit here and some of the older versions of this I believe you had to drill all the way through this particular model you just got to drill a little divot so I got a quarter inch drill bit here I'm going to mark with my scribe uh, the parts on the bottom of the stabilizing jack and then I'll get a little drill and drill about an eighth of an inch divot in it so yeah, these screws go through the bottom of these plates and hold everything in place. So let's go do some marking. So you can see my little pilot holes are drilled. Next thing is to do is to install this part, but you gotta put the little bolts in first. So we drop these little lock washers in to the hole. Get three of those. Slide this up on here. And then you have these set screws to, to go into those divots that you drill. So I'm going to hand tighten these. These liners wrap around the rest of the leaf springs for in case they were to fall off. They're not going to just bounce down the highway. Give it a little shake. Get those centered in there hand tight. You can see the way this thing works. Turn it. And that slides in that hole for your to, to give your more stable stabilization in your leaf spring. Now, this particular one's pretty close, so I may have to jack up the back of the truck just a hair. Um, jack it up from the receiver hitch to get it to fit in. That's Right now it's pretty low. And I do have some stuff in the back of the truck, so it's got a little bit of load on it already. So that's how it works when not in use. Put 
pull them back out. And there's a locking pin that goes in here. Keeps them going anywhere and keeps you stable as you go down the highway. Now I gotta do the same thing for the other three and I'll be done. All in all, the installation of the Torque Lift Central Quick Disconnect Lower Stable Load was fairly easy. It took me uh, 30 minutes from start to finish to, to install all four of them and get them tightened down. The I was trying to decide do I want to keep them on the outside or the inside. You can put them either way. It really doesn't matter. The instructions tell me that I should reroute my parking brake or emergency brake cable. Mine feels like it's enough out of the way so it's not an issue so I'm going to skip that step which I did not do. But they look really good and they seem to be pretty easy to use. Both of my front ones I can easily engage with a wrench. The back ones I cannot. So I, if I'm going to use the back ones I need to jack up the rear of the truck. But I do have some items in the back of the truck therefore giving it some weight so it's pushing down just a little bit. It makes it a little bit difficult to get it in there. Uh, but the next time we carry this rig somewhere I'll hook these in and see how it tows and let you know. Hello adventurers. Uh, I got tired of wondering where my propane tank levels were because Airstream doesn't come with that unless you get the classic model. So I ordered these braided propane lines and I'm going to take the OEM stock off and I'm going to put on these. So join me. Step A is to take off your propane tank cover to get to everything. Not completely necessary but much easier to do. Turn off propane tanks. 9 16 wrench. Pops these old ones off. Pretty easy process. Now before I put the new one on I'm going to put some plumber's tape around this real quick just to make sure that I have a very good seal. This makes getting this thread started a little bit easier when the tank is not installed. Have a nice new thread with a gauge. Cool. Cool. Let's do the other side. Now you can see the new gauge, new gauge, shiny new lines. Looks really good. If you are looking for these for your own rig, you can find them at the link down below or you can find them on the Things We Love tab of 13adventures.com. Thanks for joining me for this Airstream maintenance tip.